Hi there, Manish here once again, and today I am going to reveal you an amazing magical app. It's Google Sheet Batch Update. So we all play around with Google Sheet throughout the day, and in most of the make scenarios, we see people are using Google Sheets. But the big part is whenever you're using Google Sheet to update or to add or to clear a row or a line, you have to spend one operation. And what if you have thousands of lines, hundreds of rows? then you'll have to spend thousands of operations to update, add and delete them or clear them. Now, with this app, with this magical app, I would say you can do like thousands of row up and update clear in just one single operation. So I'm so excited to present you Google Sheet batch update app presented by GrowStack. So we were working on this for quite long. And most of our clients, many people in Make were asking how they can do batch updates, batch append. So let's check out today this amazing app, which can help you to save a lot of time, plus so many operations on Make. Let's see how it works. So this is the app part. Uh, this is something called Google Sheet app, and this is available on invitation basis. So in case if you want to try it, the link is given in description below. You can just go to that invitation page, fill out information and you can try it for free. Now we have included four fundamentals and one additional feature. So fundamentals are like first you can batch update raw, you can batch append raw or add like add raws. You can clear raws in batch. You can sort the entire sheet and finally you can even format the header from make itself from the coding itself. So let's go one by one how you can do this. So for this particular video, I have created two sheets. One is a customer database and one is a CRM master sheet. And in this way, I'm going to uh, show you a real life example. So here you can see I have all the customer data available over here. Like these are more than approximately 1000 line 999 raw are there, right? And this is the CRM master sheet, which I have, which is completely blank. You can see here. So now if I have to put that entire data into this CRM master sheet. So that's just a moment's uh, work. So let's see. So let's go here. So this is how we can build the scenario. So we can first search raw from the uh, base sheet that is a customer master. Then we can do array aggregation. So this array will aggregate entire information into one piece and then it can use Google Sheet batch append raw app. And through this, you can append all the raw simultaneously at one operation to your destination sheet. So let's see, uh, I'll quickly show you here. So here I have defined the source file or I have defined this customer data and we are just searching without any condition. Here we aggregated all the lines based upon our uh, the destination sheet structure. And finally here we are appending them. So the destination sheet is the CRM master, right? And we have selected a couple of range. So column A to E and here is the uh, data sources map array from the array aggregator. This is the array we mapped, user entered. Fine, so let's see the magic happens. I'm going to run the scenario now and you can see this destination sheet, the CRM master is completely blank. The source sheet from customer data we are going to pick and it's connecting through an array. Just click on here. One, two, three, boom. So all thousand lines are updated just in one moment, just using one single operation. So you can see here on my make count, it used one single operation to append 1000 lines together. Similar way, let's see this. So in case if you want to uh, update multiple lines or multiple raw in Google Sheet, for example, I have maintained a status against each of them in column F. So currently we took data up to column E. Now let's say there are different status from uh, for different customers, different clients, and I want to update them in column F over here in the sheet, right? So I can do all thousand status update again in one single operation, right? So let's see here in case of batch update, I'll quickly show you again. So here we're searching uh, all the lines, all the raw from our base sheet. We will aggregate it, but this time we are going for an update. So it asks us which particular column or a range of column you want to update. So here I defined column F, I want to update in the destination sheet and what I want to update. So I'm getting column F, the status column from my previous search. So I just append the value over here. And finally, I'm using this Google Sheet batch update the raw, right? So this module from Rostex. 
you can simply map the array over here so array will be like a single collection of uh, or single batch of the entire updated update inputs uh, then you can define like uh, based upon serial number you want to update uh, the formatted value and the user entered inputs we want to update so let's check out again column f is completely blank over here column f is fully uh, available on this and let me run the scenario and let's see the magic once again so on one single operation you can see it updated all the status for all thousand raw just a second it's quite minimized perfect let me zoom in and show you see everywhere we can see the status updated on each of the line items just to add it here you can use this module not just from google sheet to google sheet but it can work with any of the inputs so it can be monday or it can be Airtable, notion excel sheet from anywhere you can take the inputs and update append or create new lines in google sheet new rows in google sheet uh, one more I would like to show is something called batch clear. So batch clear is something you can see here. Uh, it will delete or clear the raw defined or the range you define for raws. Right? So for example, the CRM master, the destination file we are using. Now here you can define the range and you say clear specified range or clear data from the selected sheet. Right? So in one single operation again, this will clear out. It will delete all the data available across those range raw or it can be even delete everything from the Google uh, the sheet itself. So here I defined the range of column A to Z uh, a million. And let's see once again. So here you see uh, this single module is available over here. Same way if you want to clear out a range, a dynamic range, uh, then also you can put it from somewhere input and it can run uh, through that. Right. So let me please show you. Now let me quickly run this module and you can see here all the lines gone right in a one single operation so you don't have to use again and again thousands. Perfect. So another cool uh, feature we added here is something called sort a sheet. So sort a sheet is quite a headache for so many people because any new line we add to Google sheet will be at the end of the sheet right and we at time want uh, these lines to be at the top or maybe any other use you want to take of sort function right sort based upon uh, the ascending descending orders based upon the date time or maybe on the serial numbers so that can be achieved now i'll quickly show you how the sort works here you can see uh, in this sort module we just have to define the our source sheet wherever we want to uh, sort the things and now you can define a range of raw how many raw you want to sort so it is start from 1 to 100 uh, sorry 2000 and you can define which column you want to sort so let's say from column 0 to column 6 so index always start from 0 right so we'll see columns uh, 0 to 5 i would say so total 6 column we have here up to status now uh, you can define which column you want to sort so we want to sort column number b so we uh, based for the index rule it starts from zero to so the b will be the second column so it's called uh, the column index one and how you want to sort so it's descending or ascending now here you can see on this column b all the names are available for different people john uh Klezer, or test data or name or something else now if i would run this module you will see the magic again this entire sheet will be sorted in a in a matter of seconds right so i'll quickly run this Boom, so this is done. You can see all, it was descending sort. So all the name from Y, T, S comes up like this. Again, if I want to sort it on ascending basis, let me just go there and sort it. So let me just change the order to, to ascending and boom. So one more time, this is sorted full ascending so all the names are appearing like this in case if i want to again sort it back from the serial number which we used so let's go and put like column index zero we want to sort ascending order click ok now whatever serial number you see 2 12 all these they are because of this uh, ascending sort by names instead now we are sorting by the serial number so let's go and see the magic so it's sorted by one two three four five in the same index so this is something uh, how we are like empowering uh, the make users and one last but not least just an additional thing we have added here in this google sheet module is something called format header so in case if you want to format any of your spreadsheet headers you can do it as per uh, from the coding itself from the scenario itself so how this works is you'll have to again choose the sheet so let's uh, choose the sheet of our crm master now let's 
choose the red spreadsheet is batch update and let's come here so what we want to from where we want to start the raw so it's 0 to 100 or maybe 1000 it doesn't make a difference uh, what colors we want to put here so we said uh, it can be like it's follow the rgb pattern so let's put 100 red 10 green 10 blue uh, in case if we want to give any color to our text, that can also be done. So let's give, I think 00, zero will be the white color. We can define the alignment. So it should be currently all these you can see are in left aligned, right? Most of them. Now, if you want to put a center alignment, we can do or maybe right alignment. That's quite easy to verify. Font size, we can do 25. It will be quite bold, uh, quite big. Currently, these are bold. Let them be bold. If we want to define a freeze draw count, we can also do. So first draw can be freezed and click OK. And let's see the magic once again. Oh, so it it uh, did this entire formatting for all the lines, right? All first 100 lines. It's perfect. So this is how uh, you can do all the batch updates, sorting, and even the format header through this Google Sheet custom app, right? Again, I'm repeating, in case if you want to try this app, the link is given in the description. This is available on the invitation basis. So you'll have to install this app on your organization. You'll get the entire uh, command, how you can instructions, how you can uh, use this app on your own organization in your scenarios. If you need any other help or if you want any other such useful or valuable applications, do comment below and our team will work on it, will surely bring that app for you. So thank you very much for being with us. Uh, we are really delighted to help you all. Thank you once again.